Okay, so it looks like what the the end thing to do on YouTube is <laughs> well is a uh, a draw my life. So I literally have whoops don't read that because that's a personal um this here okay and um hopefully. I've never done Draw My Life before, <laughs> obviously, if I have, you would have seen it, but anyways, um, so I literally have, um, uh, my notebook, and my pen, and I'm going to proceed to, <laughs> I can't help it, man, I'm literally doing this impromptu. Which is what I usually do, cause that's who I am. Cause it's always funny to see me like say random shit in the middle of everything and stuff like that. And who knows how it's gonna go? And it's, I mean, I think I think that's funny, but you might think that's boring as fuck. <laughs> that's why I think they're like an hour long sometimes. But hopefully this won't be like that. Hopefully this will be nice and quick, thirty minutes. Hopefully. So. In one of my videos, I try to explain where I live. So, let's start with the state of Maryland. Oh, fuck. There we go. State of Maryland. Alright, I'm trying to, um, yeah. Chesapeake Bay is like this. I'm trying to remember what Maryland looks like. I don't know, something. I suck at this, I don't know why. See? And everyone knows where Baltimore is in Maryland. It's right, right here. See that? Okay. So Baltimore County, actually better than John Baltimore County in the state of Maryland, um, is something like. I'm trying to remember. I probably fucked it all up. Like this. Okay. See that? And I'm going to write X. Right there, you see the X? That's where Catonsville is, okay? So this is... This is West. You see that? Okay, so it's probably like a mirror. Alright. So, I was born and raised in Catonsville. And... I have... A mom. Alright, so there's a mom. <laughs> She's actually kind of big, so I'm gonna make her big. Alright. And a dad. He actually kind of looks like this. He has glasses. Mom and dad. And that's it. And this is me. Okay? See, that's me. So, and I still live in the same house that I've always lived in. But, see, in my old room is, um, now my son's room. And so this is him. See? His name is, see, that's him here. See, his name is Jeremiah, and he's five years old. But well, we don't go to that right, right yet. <laughs> okay. We haven't gotten to that right yet, obviously. So, I live, I live, I still live here, up here, on this street here. I'm not going to tell you what street it is, because I don't want people stalking me. And see, that's my house. And then all the way down here, this is the street. See? And this is someone else's house. See that? See that? And of course, there's a bunch of other houses here. I don't know how many they are, but who cares? Okay? But long story short, this is the end of the road here. Okay? So it'll be like this. And. Um, there's a little creek here, see? 
and um, so this is me, and these are two boys. See that? You see that? And they, that's where we, that's, they were homeschooled. These two boys down here, they're homeschooled, okay? And I went to public school. So, like, in the summers and the evenings and everything, I would just walk down here and play with them down there, okay? And we had fun and stuff playing random games and stuff. I actually have um, more about that in another video. Um, so, um, I went to two elementary schools, and of course I went to high school, I mean, I'm middle school, and then I went to high school. Um, let's see. So, I went to a school. This is school. Okay. You see that? And I rode a bus. Whoops. See, I rode a bus to school. See? And from kindergarten to, um, third grade, I went to this school here called Hillcrest. And it was, it was an okay school, but it was kind of old. And I'm going to draw you the sink in the bathroom because those were annoying as fuck. And so we had sinks. So this is like hot water and this is cold water. And this is a, actually a little stick could come out here and another little stick could come out here. And that's what I remember. See, that's a sink, okay? And you had to turn on, and you couldn't let go, okay? The water, or the water would turn off. That's what was annoying about the sinks at Oakcrest, was there were those annoying little sinks. <laughs> and, um, I didn't really have much of friends, of any, any friends at Oakcrest. I mean, um, so we played. We had, there were two playgrounds. But they were both like, you could play either one, and it didn't matter. At least this time, we had two playgrounds that were separated like that, a, like a fence. So, there was like a little thing like this, a jungle gym, and it had poles going down it. And we had a little thing like this, that you could, could climb on, like that. And it had the little parallel bars like that. See, those are parallel bars, so you can climb on that. There are two monkey bars, some really freaking high ones, like that. And some not so high ones, like that. See? And like over here, there were, there were three, so there was like this, and then like this. So it's literally like that, bars you can play with over there. And I don't remember much about this site, other than there were slides on this site. So, or slides. We climb up like up here, I think it was like like that. So those are slides. And um so you climb up there like that. And I just remember there's sand all over the place. So that's sand. And um so that's what I remember about Hillcrest. And then I went to Westchester and Westchester was a nice school. It was a nice brand new built school that we just built that that year in fourth grade. See, that's a nice school, okay? And they actually, um, they actually had a TV in every classroom, so they had a nice little TV in every classroom. See, that's a TV, and they had like a little uh, studio um, in the li in the back of the library, where the fifth graders and other people could do like the announcements. They didn't have that until well, they had. We may or may not have had it. I don't think they had it their first year, but the second year we were, the, we were we were like the guinea pigs of this thing, and you go in there and some people will hold a script and some people will actually be the person who did the talking. We had sports and we had it was like the news and we had um 
just different announcements and stuff and the weather. And each person had their own job. And then we had like second graders come in and they would do the pledge. So we had little second graders. And they said, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And so on and so forth. And so that's the American flag. And that was cute. And that was fifth grade. And then, so we turn the page. And then, so we have uh, sixth grade. I, went, I was able to walk there. Kate and Phil. Okay, so that was cool. And so I walked there, so it's me again. I walk in the school. See? And, um, that school was alright, I guess. The building. I don't, know, I don't remember anything special about it. Um, but there's, a, there's another video on here about all the shit that happened in middle school. I'm not going to go into too much detail. There were long ass tables like this. And they had little circle seats like this. See? And. So they were like that. And, um. Well. <laughs> keep the high school. The, the, um. Cafeteria was held. Because, um. People were teasing me all the time about random shit. And I'm going to further detail in another video about that. And, um. Then I went to high school. Went to Cadenceville High School. So here's. See? There it is. And I rode a bus to that school for a while until I started driving. So here's the bus. And no, it was not the short bus. I did not ride the short bus. Um, to those of you who did ride the short bus, um, okay, it's cool, I don't care. <laughs> but I didn't. Um, there's the bus. See, I, I see, you can see now why I kind of made that mark, but whatever, I messed up, so I made it a little bigger. Um, but if you did ride the short bus, that's cool, I don't, my guys, I don't really care. <laughs> um, but anyways, um, that's high school, and the bullying stopped once I got to high school, and I actually made a nice little video about high school, um, just a few minutes ago, actually, so I talked a lot about high school and how that went, um, so, this is me and my first, this is gonna be me and my first boyfriend, okay, so this is me, actually last night I had a dream about my ex-boyfriend, I actually, Went back to his house, and a bunch of random ass people were there. I'm like, why am I here? And it was because so and so, which is the name of a dog that I may have had, died. It was my, me and my boyfriend. And it was weird that I had that dream. Because I had not talked to him since then. So it's me and my first boyfriend. And we met in 10th grade. I actually talk about this in another video. Because this is why. Um, anyways, this is why, what, I don't even know, <laughs> no, the, I'm trying to make this go by fast, so, that's why I did a whole bunch of other videos, talk about stuff in detail, and, um, anyways, um, met in 10th grade, but we didn't start dating until 11th grade, because he was actually dating, there was one crazy girl that was my friend for a while, so, that's, that. Um, and we broke up in senior year. And then this is me. And senior prom. I wore a nice dress. You know, it was a nice long dress for senior year. Senior prom. And I had short hair actually. Senior year. But not, well, actually, it was about as long as it is now. Um, but I had even shorter hair. Um, before that, but anyway, and me and the guy I went with, and I told you I went another post, was actually in ninth grade, 
and so I was like, going to senior prom, and, um, that was fun and everything. So, anyways, I went to Shepherd University. For a year, and for the, and, um, well, actually, a semester. I meant this one guy, and this is what he looks like. Okay. This is what he looks like. <gasps> Sorry, the thing went black. Um, this is what he looked like, and he had glasses too. Okay. Okay, so this is what I, this is the guy I met at Shepherd University. Okay, see him? Okay, <laughs> and see how ugly he is? But apparently, I didn't give a shit for whatever reason. And he invited me to his room one night, and long story short, he became my boyfriend. And we, uh, let's just say we, uh, decided on a little bit too much. And then, and by the end of that semester, this is me, but there was something here. Okay? Let me get, get myself some hair. That was me at the end of the semester. Okay, so we left off. The last time I drew a picture of myself was here. Alright, wearing a dress. And this is how much different I look at the end of the semester. Well, I didn't look that much. I, I wasn't that big yet. But over time, I got big. <laughs> because this creepy guy here got me pregnant. This creepy guy here got me pregnant. And so I stopped going there and I went back to community college. I went to CCBC. And here's me going to CCBC looking like this. Okay? That's me going to CCBC looking like that. Okay? And then I finished my first semester there on June 5th, 2008. I didn't look like that anymore. I probably looked, well, I looked like this on that day. But then there was someone else that looked like this. Right next to me. See? And of course, the creepy guy was there too. The glasses and the beard. And the hair like that. Oops. I gave him a really long dick, apparently. <laughs> Oops. Oh well. Yeah, he did. That. <laughs> no. That was a long dick, apparently. And here we are, our so and our so called happy family. Um, of course. Um, let's see. I sent him the baby. His name is Jeremiah. Um, a little bit later, like a year later. Um, well, not a year later. They drew into, I would say about seven months later, February. 2009, I sent him. He stopped looking like that. He looked a little bit more like this. To a place at CCBC. And then there was a child care set. So it's children learning things. So I could go to class. So at CCBC. So I was at CCBC. At, at class. And at this point. I was actually thinking I was an elementary uh, ed major. Okay. And um, that's what I thought I wanted to do. I thought I wanted to be a teacher at this point. So I took some classes. And that's what he so I, it was like that for a while. I literally just dropped them off there and picked them up. You know, some class or at the end of the day. And then we have 
June 5th, uh, by some weird coincidence, June, this special day happened on June 5th, 2010. This kid is now this big, and he's two years old, and he likes Sesame Street, he had Elmo cake, so it's something like this. Okay, so I actually stayed up all night making a cake like this. Okay. See? And I don't know how to draw this. I think you might know what I'm going with this. This happens. See? I graduated that day too. I had a big ass party that day. And I did all the catering. I basically bought all this food and had a whole bunch of people over and we had a big ass party that day. And then that fall went to Towson. And apparently um, your couch is there, and I'm really having a hard time doing this. Anyways, and there's random people sitting at the couches, and actually I didn't tell you about CC, a whole lot about CCBC. There is the corner at CCBC, where, at the cafeteria, so that's the couches of uh, Towson, and it was just like that. It, it was basically people at the couches at Towson were just like people at the corner at TCBC. And anyways, um, that's where I met a lot of my friends at Towson. And um, we're gonna give you another day. Um, I'm gonna give you June. Everything happens in June apparently, but I don't remember the day in June. Or was that end of either end of May or June? It doesn't matter. Two thousand. What year was this? Eleven, I think. I was no longer going to be a teacher. This is an apple. Whoops, a teacher. No, I was not going to be a teacher anymore because things didn't work out very well. Let's just put it that way. And I don't know what to do for this. I decided to switch to family studies. And I'm tearing my paper. See? So, um, I made the big decision then, which are family studies, and I took family studies 101 that summer. And that was, family studies was fun. And everything, and was, things were cool and everything, and I learned a lot of really interesting things. The one thing, actually, I can't draw the one thing that I can summarize them and study with. So this is the, this is you, actually. Or a kid, or somebody. This is the family. Okay. And this is microsystem. And I believe the method system was actually the interactions between this, between the family and here, okay, like that. And I always got that wrong, but that's what it is. And then the macro system was basically everything else that's going on around everybody. Um, actually, no. Macro system was actually like mom and dog, mom and dad job or something like that and then the ecosystem which was like everything else going on around everything like that and that's basically some summarizes everything I learned in family studies and um so you learned something new today alright here we go let me try and remember what day that was okay this was actually really recently this happened in May of um let's see May 24th very specifically, 2013, this happened. See? And I graduated from Towson. 
so um here I am in 2013. Um this day has not happened yet, but it will happen really soon. I'm trying to think what day would that be? Because it will actually be twenty seven. Alright. So that's like next week. This will happen. We'll see a, a school bus again. And. But it won't be me riding the school bus. It'll be this kid here. Well, apparently, um, okay, this kid here. He's this big now. See him? He's gonna ride a school bus on that day. Well, actually, no, he's not gonna ride a school bus on that day. He's just gonna ride a school bus the day after. Well, anyways, guess what school he's gonna go to? That school. Oh, let's just show him the school. So, actually, I can actually do this. See that? So, he's gonna go there. He's gonna go to kindergarten soon. And that's really exciting. So that's basically, um, how long was this? 26 minutes. This was, um, how old am I? I'm a 24 and a half. So that's basically 24 and a half years in 26 minutes. With a bunch of scribbles. <laughs> to help you explain what happened. And that's actually what I was aiming for. Something that wasn't too long. Two wasn't too far in detail because I have been giving you details of everything here. And that was why I was doing all that because I didn't want to go into too much detail, um, of everything. So, anyways, I did it. I did what everyone else on YouTube does. I did draw my life. And I know it sucked horribly. And I'm sure everyone else did better. But, uh, here we go. Draw my life. I hope you at least um liked it a little bit. Um I know like I said I know it wasn't too detailed but it was something I've been wanting to do for a while but I wanted to build up to it because I didn't want to be doing this and they were like, Well, give us more details. I actually wanted to do the details before, so that's why there you go. Um so here you go. That's my draw my life video. Um, if you have any other questions about anything else, I will answer them. I guess <laughs> in another video. Um, I don't think I'll be doing draw my life again unless you really want me to. And if you're gonna tell me, well, you should do this, you should do that next time, then I'll do it. I'll try to anyways. Um, so there you go.